And, and, and when people do come to you, does it often resolve their issues or...? Um, a lot of people... Yeah, issues, what is issues? A lot of people come to me because they uh, have problems, mental problems often. Um, well, I, I can, give, can give you an example. Uh, a few years ago a lady came and she said, uh, you are my last chance, a friend pointed me in your di direction and she thought you can help me. Oh yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I have nightmares and I uh, want to commit suicide because I don't see it anymore in my life and I saw a lot of doctors and they don't know. And I tuned into her and I saw that she was possessed with entities. And there was one of the entity was a really aggressive one. So I think half an hour or so, she danced out of the door because it was not her, but was uh, the depressive person. That was the entities, and they are there for a reason. Because when you are low in vibration, and they are low in vibration, they can easily pop in, of course. But. And then when that entity is left, yeah. it doesn't come back? No. I, I know there is healers who just kick them out, but that is not how I work. I let them go to the light, so to speak. God or heaven, whatever you believe in. But I call it the light. And when they are there, that is where they belong, they stay there. So if they belong there, how come they are drawn to latch onto people's bodies? Okay, um, well we talk about, there is lots of entities, but let's talk about uh, lost souls in that sense. When you die, your soul is supposed to go to the light. But some souls are afraid to see God because they were sinners and they stay on this earth. Or they are attached to a person or a possession and they stay on this earth. And they are totally lost, but they need energy. And they pop into a person to suck their energy. And they go to the person who has the right energy as they, them, because they are frustrated or angry or whatever. Why entities attached to someone's body is because uh, entities are low in energy and they have issues and when you are low in energy for some reason it's easy to, easy to attack and they attach in your body because like attracts like and when they are in your body or attached to your body in your aura in fact then you take over a little bit or a little bit sums a lot of their frustration or anger or whatever their issue is and then you are angry, you are frustrated, and sometimes you hardly don't know why. Oh, why did I say that? Why? There's no reason for that. And because you are low in energy, it is very easy for other entities to pop in. And sometimes people have eight or nine uh, entities in their uh, aura. And there is also other uh, attached uh, energies. If you have negative thoughts, for instance, and you think, ah, oh, I don't like that, then it just disappears. But when you are frustrated and you keep feeding that energy, it starts to live a life of its own. And that attaches as well. In 2010, I joined an ayahuasca ceremony. And for those who don't know what ayahuasca is, it's a, it's a medicine plant that you can drink as a tea and it gives you uh, uh, visions uh, because of the release of dimethyltryptamine from the pineal gland. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's a healing plant because it helps you to uh, see things that you didn't see before. And one of the things that happens is that you throw up after you've uh, ingested it. And when I threw up the first time, um, I, had a, I, I saw an entity coming out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually was stuck in here and I could see it going out. It was an old man with a beard and... and I remember thinking then, oh my God, this is real. This is real. 
this, you know, my skepticism was gone for good when I actually saw that this thing had attached to me for ages. And after I came out of the experience, for a long time, I felt a great relief um, after it was gone. So, yeah, I'm still glad that we're, we are having this part in the documentary. Yeah, well, those things can really happen. And most people don't see it and they don't believe it. Well, what we discussed before, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. But you don't see radio waves. Oh, there's plenty of things you don't see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>